Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a shop on Facebook using the brand new Commerce Manager. This is the latest approach in 2020. I did a tutorial on the same topic last year. And since then, Facebook have updated the interface. So I'm gonna show you how to do it now using the brand new Commerce Manager on the latest version of Facebook. So keep in mind that these interfaces will change from time to time and there'll always be updates to the way we approach any of this type of setup. So if you wanna be sure to see the latest version of my tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. Now I'm gonna break this tutorial down into two components. The first one is how to set up and create your Facebook store. And then I'm gonna show you how to link an Instagram account and create taggable products on Instagram as well. So without any further delay, Let's go ahead and get started setting up our first store in Facebook using the Facebook Commerce Manager. It probably goes without saying, but in order to set up a Facebook shop to sell products as a business, you need to have a Facebook business page. So make sure you've gone ahead and created your Facebook business page first. And then you can jump in and follow the steps that I'm about to show you. Now, there's a couple of ways to enter the Facebook Commerce Manager that will enable you to start setting up your shop. The first way is to go to your Facebook business page and you can have a look on the left hand side to see if you have a manage shop tab available. If you haven't created a shop before, it's very likely that won't be there at this stage. In which case you can click on the more option just underneath your banner section and you may see a shop option appear there. If not, you can click on edit tabs. You can change the current template and change that from your existing template. In this case, I have it set to business to shopping. And then if I click on the name of my business page on the top left here, That'll take me back to my Facebook business page and you should now see the manage shop tab on the left hand corner. You can click on that and that will take you to your Facebook commerce manager. You'll either see a coming soon option if it's not quite available in your area or it will already be available and you can click on the commerce manager link on the top left. And if you want a much more direct way of getting to the commerce manager, just type it in your browser under facebook.com forward slash commerce underscore manager. And it should take you to a page that looks very similar to the one you're seeing now, which has an option to add a shop at the top of the screen. Now, I've already created a test one here from a previous demonstration. So I'm gonna go in and add a brand new shop. So I'm gonna click on the add shop option. In this first screen, you need to determine how your viewer is going to purchase your products once they click on the buy now link. The first option will take them to an external website. So this is available for those of you that already have an e-commerce platform set up, be it Shopify or WordPress with WooCommerce, or if you're prepared to set up your own shop, or if you're thinking about setting up your own shop that operates independently, you would bring all of your purchases from Facebook or web traffic in general to this one location being your web store. And this is the option that most of us are probably going to select. The second option allows your customers to check out directly from within Facebook or Instagram without being taken away to a third party website. Customers will be able to browse and shop and check out directly on Facebook or Instagram with Facebook pay. They won't be directed to your website. Your businesses will manage orders here in Commerce Manager or on a partner platform such as Shopify. However, using this option requires that you provide details about your business for payouts and taxation. And at the moment only seems to be available for US residents. You require a US bank account and business. So this is not gonna be available for everyone, but if you do have a US business, you're based in the United States, then certainly this would be a great way to go because it's a more integrated solution and lets you use the Facebook pay system, which can be an advantage when people are shopping within the Facebook platform. Certainly if you don't wanna use that option and you prefer to 
have the user make the final payment through your own website. Even if you are in the US, you can opt for that first option. And finally, if you don't wanna go with either of those two options, you can opt that the user can contact you via direct message to purchase. So there's no transaction. There's just the ability for you to list a product and get an expression of interest via a direct message. And you can then negotiate payment via another payment platform. So there are the three ways that you can set up the Facebook shop. Once you've decided which way to go, click on the Get Started tab. In this next page, you'll need to choose a business. If you have multiple Facebook pages here, you'll notice they'll all be available for you to select from. I'm going to select the same business as my Facebook page. In the Account Details section that comes up next, enter your business name, click on Next, and now you'll be prompted to enter your email address. And in this final screen of the setup process, you need to enter the name of your catalog, click on next. You'll now be presented with a welcome screen, click on get started. And the first step is to add products to your catalog. So I wanna select the first option, add products to your catalog. And then you can select from a few options here, whether you want to add your products manually, use bulk upload or use a pixel. If you have a third-party e-commerce platform set up, you can use the second two options, being the bulk upload or a pixel which you get from those websites. If you only have a few products you wanna sell, it might be easiest just to add your products manually, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But if you are using a third-party e-commerce platform, then you could use the bulk upload option where you can get a CSV file exported from that website and upload it into Facebook, or you can even use the pixel option, which is supported by some e-commerce platforms that allows you to integrate the data from those websites directly into Facebook. For this tutorial, we're gonna use the first option and add our products manually. So to get started, click on the add manually section at the top, and then click on the next button. You can drag and drop multiple images in the top section, or add an individual image of at least 500 by 500 pixels. Choose files on your device. So I've got an image here that I'd like to include. Title, lav microphone for iPhone. If you have an SKU, enter it here. And this is where you can now place the direct link on your website to that particular product. So as you can see, this is where my customers that purchase on my website will add the product to their cart. Go to the top URL bar, copy and paste that link. And paste it into the website link section. And once you've done that, enter in the retail price and whether it's in US dollars or your local currency, depending on which one you prefer, and then click on add product. It will tell you the item has been added to your catalog and you can go ahead and add another product and keep going until you've completed entering all your products into your Facebook store. There's so much more to go through and I might have to produce a follow up video down the track on how to manage your catalog further. But for this video, that's all I wanted to cover just to get you started and give you the ability to get some products into the Facebook Commerce Manager and start selling straight away. Now, some of you might need to wait some time for Facebook to approve, but generally the process is pretty quick. And once you list a product, you're pretty much ready to go. In the next part of the tutorial, I just wanna show you how you can now connect your Instagram account to the Facebook shop and create a taggable post. Up until now, we've been doing all of our work in Facebook in the Commerce Manager on a desktop computer. Now we need to go to Instagram on a mobile phone and we're going to connect the shop that we just created in Facebook to our Instagram account so that we can create our posts with product tags. So in order to do that, tap on the three line icon that appears in the top right hand corner of Instagram. 
And this will take you to some additional settings. Tap on settings and then tap on business. And then tap on set up Instagram shopping. Then tap on the connect Facebook account button at the bottom of the screen. You'll be prompted to log into your Facebook account, enter your password, and then select the appropriate business page to connect your Instagram account to. So if you have multiple businesses, make sure that you've selected the correct account here that you had set up your Facebook shop in the Facebook Commerce Manager. If you've already connected your Instagram account to Facebook, you'll probably get a different screen when you tap on the business icon, which will show you a shopping option up front. Tap on that and then select the catalog that you had created in the Facebook Commerce Manager. So once you've set up your account and connected the catalog, you're ready to create your first product post with a tag in Instagram. So in order to do that, tap on the plus button on the bottom of the screen to create a post, select the photo you'd like to use in the post, perform any visual edits that you normally would in Instagram, tap on next, write a caption, and just below your image and caption, you'll notice that you now have a brand new tag products option, which allows you to do exactly that. Tap anywhere on the image where you'd like the product tag to appear, and then all of the products that are in your catalog that you've connected to Instagram in that previous step will appear. Select the product that you'd like to include in this post, and you'll notice a tag now appears on the image, including the title and the price, which your viewer can then tap on to purchase your product directly from Instagram once your post is published. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.